Oh, look at that. I got one while I was just sitting there. Oh. Well, good morning, y'all. We are getting the boat all gassed up. We are heading out to meet Chris from Pistol Creek Pan Fishing. He's going to put us on his favorite spot. We're going to hook it to some crappie in a way that you've never seen on our channel before. Stay tuned. The fun's about to begin. Got him. Grab that net right there, Chris, if you don't mind. Right behind me. Yeah, I'm going to try to actually get this one in the boat. This one actually feels like it. Yep. There we go. All right, guys. After not getting the first two into the boat, we've decided Chris was nice enough, if you guys know my saying, net please, to get the net. All right, y'all. There's the first one that actually got in the boat. Lost two of them. Chris has us out here. Beautiful crappie. And he's showing us his technique and it works 100%. So take a look at that one. Beautiful. We're going to get a measurement on it. More likely that one's still going back. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good job, Jim. Thank you, sir. Ten and a half, actually. Yeah, when you told me, Chris, to go to reel as soon as you throw it in, that every single one of those I got a bite on. It's like they're super shallow. Chris is on. Let me get the net. You need a net or no? Uh, that's old pattern. It's a fake crappie. Those can get pretty big too, huh? Yeah, I've seen some pretty decent ones in there. Hmm, nice. <laughs> nice colors to it. Oh, that's a better fish. Oh, no, it's not. Look at that, y'all. A little short there. I get, I get the little one of the day for that one so far. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, let's let that one go. You got to go grow up, buddy. Need to be a little bit bigger. But thank you for playing. I think what's making the biggest difference, Chris already knew what they liked. So you're starting with an advantage there. But the other part is, is uh, he knew the colors, but that crappie nibble, I think, makes all the difference in the yeah. world, too. It gives them that little bit of that scent that they're looking for because it has not been a tentative like bite it has been a i'm like that's a fish like there's a fish on yeah so. they usually don't nibble up. that's a uh, black crappie uh, all right an arigo black crappie black nice crappie. that's what i'm talking about that little short here on the pink trout magnet with the crappie nibble beautiful there we go that's what my aunt said oh i need a net please i need a net I that, oh, it's a, what is that? Is that a bass? It's a bass. We are on that one. Thank you, Chris. Jim's on fire over here. All right, y'all. Here's what we did. Chris is showing us the crappie, or the, sorry, the trout magnet with the crappie nibble. I threw out a slip bobber down to just a minnow. Still one of the best overall, just fishing anytime we go fishing. Got ourselves a beautiful, that's a large mouth, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. It's a nice large mouth. There we go. Nice, Jim. All right, there you go, guys. Take a look at that. We're crappie fishing, and yet I'm still catching the bass. Okay. Let's let this it's one not, go. It's not far, but you don't want to troll there. Okay. All right, Mike. <laughs> Finally got a crappie. You need the net? Nah, it's a You good? Big. All right. Mike's it on the board, y'all. Nice. All right. Good job, Mike. Look at that one. Got him. Like, we're going to do slip that's, that's, a, that's a short. That's a little one. Oh, guys. All right. Little fish of the day. Little fish of the day. Anyone need a minnow? We should have busted the net out for that bad right? boy. You know, Chris was just talking, guys. We should talk about like when we're catching fish. And then I, you know, everybody catches big there fish. And then I do that right there. Now look at that. Here, here we go. Mine's pretty tiny coming in. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Tiny oh, fish catching, y'all. Another white crappie. <laughs> The again. Oh, nice. But man, you know what that means though. You got a lot of good, good ones growing up. Yeah. I always yeah. tell people when they say, well, you guys do a lot of brush pile fishing. Yeah, but you know how much gear you lose? Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's hard. I understand why some people just go to straight slip bobber and, and a minnow. Uh, Chris is being nice right now. He's letting us ease into it. He goes, okay, I'll let them feel like they're doing something. And then, and then I'm going to wear them out. There we go. That's a little fish. Yeah, it's a little fish. I think it's a bluegill. Those bluegill, you can always tell. Yeah, look at that. Going in yep. <laughs> I may have just beat my small one. <laughs> look at that, y'all. Beautiful. Let's let them go and let them grow. Do I need a net? Nah, I don't 
That seems like a better fish. Oh, there you go. Nice. Thank you, Jim. Is that a black crappie? Uh oh. Oh, look at that. He popped off right at the last minute here. Perfect timing. Yeah. Well, there's nothing better. Nice Friday morning, cool and crisp. No wind. Getting out here trying to get a few crops. That's what I'm saying. People talk about all these things that they want or have in life. Is like, if you haven't done this, you are truly missing out. All right, Mike. Got another white crappie. Is that a black crappie? That is a, another white crappie. Nice. There we go. You got him? Now I'm redeemed. He's like, I got to get one more. Bam, there we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Did he keep her? It is... <laughs> Bluegill. Bluegill. <laughs> there we go. Nice though. These are those warm up fish, right? Oh yeah. Uh, well, I'm like you are. Every fish is a great fish, so. Yes, sir. I just love being out fishing. Actually, hold on. That's not true. I love being out catching. There, there's yeah. a difference, guys. There is a difference. <laughs> oh, let's let that one go. Got him. That is a crappie. A little bit better. That's a crappie. Bonus fish. There we go, guys. Got that one on the slip bobber and the minnow. There we go, guys. Here you go, Mike. Show that to your viewers. Got that one on the minnow and the slip bobber. First one on the minnow. I'm going to give this oh, to you if I can pick gill. it up. Oh, nice. There we go. There we go. Bluegill. Just a brim. Beautiful. Chris, you got one Chris has a nice one, y'all. Look at the. Oh, yeah. I got you. That is a keeper. That is beautiful, y'all. All right, guys, Chris got another one in there. Look at that, that is a beautiful. That's a big old slab there. That's a slab. Got him on the yeah. red trout magnet. Get him on the hook to you. Nice. Beautiful. That is, a, that's 11 and a half, brother. All, right. All day long. That's what I'm talking about. Got him. Oh, nope. Yeah, I got him. He took... Oh, nope. Got a branch. Well, guys, I got the first officially landed snagfish of the day. These are the elusive snagfish. <laughs> they have invaded... Uh, they're an invasive species. They've invaded just about every lake and creek and thing that you can go into. Okay. And they choke out everything in the area. So when you guys get these, do not return these to the water. Store them there. And when you get back to land, dispose of them appropriately you know the net okay nice chris is wearing them out guys that's a black crappie told you he was gonna only oh look at that i got one while i was just sitting there oh net please me and chris just doubled up oh he's got a good one here jim bet all right all right i'm sitting here watching you and also my pole's going I'm like what is what is happening all right y'all look at that twin that's what i'm talking about bigger though <laughs> uh, not by much might be the mom and the baby i don't know yeah this is the kid i think right there's plenty of crappie in here you might want to get that bad boy out there all right y'all that one is 11 and three quarters there's number three Chris, you've done it. You've officially converted me. I don't think I have a desire to fish with another bait Are because, you a trout magnet man now? yeah, because you could catch everything, and it's just so much fun. Like even those smaller ones with this two-pound line. Here's Got them. Net, they, please. Uh, no, no, never mind. It's gonna be a little one. With the sinker on it, I'll be interested to see what you guys, uh, after fishing this a little bit, and maybe you fishing it at your home see place. See if we a can bit. get them to bite a little bit better. Well, in Cherokee. also, yes, that, and also. Wait till you go back and try to fish. Guys, check that out. The next time. Yeah, you're gonna be you're like, not used to oh, it. this is funky. Yeah. Can you guys yeah. see that? Look at that. What caused that? Oh, it's on both sides. This one has a ribboned stripe going down its entire on both sides. Hey guys, check this out. I don't know if you guys can see that. That stripe. Yeah. yeah that's and it's on both cool. sides. Look at that. Yeah. Almost like it was cut. Hmm. Oh, there we go. There you go, Mike. Mike is on the board, y'all. 
See, they're stacked into that one little section right there. Good job, Mike. This is such a beautiful and just peaceful area. Oh, look at that. Chris has another, another one, you Beautiful. Mike, That's a black is, crappie. What is this, Mike? That is a black crappie. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh, I need a net. No, 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 I don't. Never mind. He just was yeah, pulling. Good. They surprise you. Well, you're on this white gear. They all feel heavy. They feel a lot bigger. Sure they do. And that is, Mike, what is that? That is a black crappie. <laughs> Jim there we go, guys. Here. Beautiful. This is just absolutely fun. There's no other way to describe it. Take a look at that. Oh, yeah. Let's let that one go. There we go. There we go. All right. There's another one. Let's let that one go. We're sponsored by me. Today. Sponsored by me. Sponsored by me. <laughs> but why would you want to? Like, this is fun. Yeah. There we go. Well, Got another one. Oh, that's a better fish. That's going to need a net. It's, oh, I'm not lying. Oh, yeah. There we go. That might be a keeper, Chris. They are right on the edge of this cast right there. I've got every single one of them right there. And that's one of the bigger ones. Guys, this is Chris's spot. These fish are stacked in here. And he is blessed enough to, we're blessed enough that he's letting us fish it. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. There we go, guys. That one, I believe, is going to make... That one's going to make the show. Oh, no. Well, yeah. yeah, he's, yeah he's That's 10. ten. You're going to make the show, buddy. Oh, no, you're fine. There we go. That one need a net. Oh, there you go. Mike's on the board, y'all. Right. Beautiful. You need net? All right, good job, Mike. This one is a black crappie. <laughs> <sighs> oh. He's here all day, folks. You got one? Is that a fish? Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, he felt like he was a hole. Right, he did. A little morsel. There we go. Yep. What do we got this time? I'm running sideways. I'm thinking it's a bluegill. You know, you tell those gills because they just wobble water. Right yeah. Yep. That it's a bluegill. A Look at that, y'all. Beautiful little gill. Let you go get bigger. All right. Chris has got one, guys, on the board. Another spot? Chris has one. Well, you're sideways, Mike. You got a fish? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, you need a net? Yeah. I got one, too. <laughs> this is a little one. Oh, man, you got a nice one, Mike. That's a keeper. He hit it on the drop. All right, hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Guys, Mike got himself a beautiful... That's a black crappie. Black crappie. All right. see if I can get myself stuck. There we go. Got it. About 11 inch black crappie, caught it on the minnow and an Aberdeen hook, slip bobber. Get you some of that, boom. Nice, Chris, what'd you get? Uh, this, is that a crappie? This is a giant striper. Giant striper? Yeah, just looks small because I'm actually a giant. Nice, all right. Mike, you're under, Mike, you're under. Pull, 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 Mike, you're under. Calm down. Oh, no, you're not a at all. Here you go, here you go, Chris. Oh, yeah. oh, Give me your pole. No, no. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at the size of that thing. Guys, there it is. There's another keeper. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Safina. Right, right. That right. might be the big one of the day. Heck yeah. What you got there, Mike? Got another black crappie. Nice. That's probably about 11, 11 and a half. And they hit the minnow. Got him. Net. That's a nice fish. That feels like a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a crappie. There we go. 
may not be a keeper. Thank you, sir. Beautiful. Look at that. That's what we're talking about. On the beautiful trout magnet. All right. Yes, sir. The trout magnet continues to provide. Yes, it does. Every time. It is, I'm telling you, man. Makes you wonder. If you... That one is not going to make the cut. That is nine and three quarters. Right there, guys. All right. Let's go get bigger. There we go. See another one already? Yep. I, I, I don't know I if we. Drop I don't know if we need to move. Do you need a net? No. Another beautiful crappie. Another black crappie. Chris is on again, guys. That's a good fighter. Getting bigger. Bigger than the last couple of bluegill. But... There we go. Another? Uh, I think it's a bluegill. It's yep, cool feels like a bluegill. Sure. Fighting pretty good. Yep. Nice. All right, y'all. That one absolutely in inhaled it. Look at that. Swallowed the whole thing. Not trying to keep any of you guys today. Beautiful. Go get bigger. I got the net. I got the net. I got the net. Yep. I got the net. Oh, yeah. That's a keeper all day long. Chris, you sure you want to move? I would. Just a little closer. Brother. Brother, are you kidding me? This is the monster of the day. Oh, hold on. I'm down. Okay. The big old slab of Rooney there. Look at that. Definitely going in the cooler for you guys. It's a 12 and a half. Anyway. 12 and three quarters, yeah. Beautiful. It's a gorgeous crappie there. We'll open the lid. Mm -hmm. Add that to the bounty. Look at that. Oh, yes. Yay. Getting a few stacked up there. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Woo, dude, look at it. It makes all the other ones look like babies. Yeah, yeah. And those are decent sized crappie. Is that a little gill? Yeah. Not too little. That's a decent gill. Very nice. See, I'm getting pecked right there. Got him that time. That is a better fish. That is a keeper crappie. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. good job. Man. All right. All right. Uh, up, up, up. E easy, easy. You're hooked, as Richard Jean said. Say, you know, one got a hook in your mouth, boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you got you one of them there nose rings. All right, y'all. Take a look at that. That was on the minnow and slip bobber. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get a measurement real fast. And that is. Ten and three quarters. All right. For Mike's viewers, ten and three quarters, y'all. Another beautiful Mike. What is that? Black crappie. Right, guys. Right. guys, so if you're wondering what we're doing today, I got the six foot six ACC crappie stick out here, and we are throwing a trout magnet on the trout magnet jig head, and we're tipping that with crappie nibbles. Okay, and then on the eight footer. We are throwing the slip bobber with a live minnow. And we're just putting it in here on this brush the best we can. And we're looking for results. Now we're getting results both ways. The crappie nimbles are doing the job. The trout magnet's doing the job. Chris actually has landed the biggest crappie with the trout magnet and the crappie nibble. Mike has landed the second biggest one with the uh, minnow and slip bobber. And I want to say mine was on the trout magnet, right? Yeah. My big one. I threw it down to room on Got him. Balloon. Oh, that's that's a big old bluegill that was trying to bluegill. eat the minnow. Nice. There we this go. This is a nice spot right here, Chris. This is a great spot right here. Look at that. All right. Beautiful gill. There we go, y'all. I do that all the time. 
Well, Chris has gotten the biggest one on the trout magnet so far, so. Yep. Nice, Chris got just got them. Them. Guys, we are wearing them out. This is the fun part right here. You know you're catching. Mike, you're already under. Mike is already under, guys. Got him. Hold Ooh, on, dude. Okay, I can't even. Oh, yeah. I can't even get baited up in time. Beauty. Okay, keep it on the. Bring it across. Oh, All right, y'all. Look at that. Okay, easy, easy. You got some hardware in your mouth. I don't need it in my finger. Okay, I'm going to show. Boom. Mike, what is that? That is a black crappie. <laughs> Mike, what is that? Black crappie. What is that, Mike? Black crappie. <laughs> you got it? Yep. Oh, oh that is awesome. Oh, Chris, you found the hot spot here, brother. Yeah, he's like, oh, I seen some guys nice fishing there the other day. You're not right, you did. Yeah. Here, you want me to measure it for you? I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess about 12. That is mouth closed till back. Yep, 12 inches. Boom! Add it to the list, to the bucket. Oh, I keep catching these things right here. So One good. after the other. <laughs> free yourself. <laughs> Be free. Return to where you came from. Chris has already got one. Do you need do you need net? There's a crappie. Oh yeah, hold on. Oh, that's a keeper. <laughs> He's going everywhere. There we go. Okay. Yeah, got him that time. Alright. There we go, Chris. Yes. Alright. Another one on the bulldog. Get him unhooked here. Check it out, guys. Check That's it out. That's what we're talking about awesome. right there. Absolutely. Beautiful. Let's get you a measurement. You have... I think there's a fish on mine. You are sitting at 10 and a half inches. Oh, no, hold on. Yep. Yeah, 10 and a half inches. <laughs> Beautiful. Toss them in the collection there. All right. Oh, look at the size of that one that Chris has. Oh, did he? That was a big oh, fish. Big one, huh? Yeah. Did you see it? Yep. Oh, that might have been the big one of the day. I think everybody. There we go. Oh, that's a better fish. Uh, probably a bluegill. Yeah, he's going in a circle. That's a good one. But he's fighting pretty good. It's a nice one. Really? Oh, look at the size of that gill. That's a big one. <laughs> that one actually, and it wrapped around my other pole. Let's get you. Pandemonium. We got fish flying everywhere. And fish pandemonium. Okay, Mike, you're loose. That one will actually be going in the cooler. Yeah. We'll take a little bluegill with the crappie. Okay. When they're that size, they get eaten. That is a, yep, eight inch bluegill all day. Where you, oh, that's another bluegill. Beautiful. And, uh, oh, look at the size of that bluegill that Chris got, guys. You want the net? I think it's good. Look at that. Got him there. Uh -oh. oh. Beautiful. You got it? Yep. Right. Okay. Got him. That is a better fish. It is a crappie. That's a little crappie there. Nice. There we go. Oh, oh, come, come back here. Come back here. Never fails, y'all. As soon as you go to bait up a different pole, you catch a fish. Beautiful. That's a black crappie. Look at that, y'all. That one's not gonna make the show. You know, that's another thing with using this two pound line. It's like it's so sensitive. Yep, not gonna make it. Feel every little nibble. Yep, another bluegill. Look at that. <laughs> so is this a bluegill video or is this a crappie video? Into a bluegill Both. Video. I think we're in the bluegill neighborhood. If you're right now. Oh, but there, there's some monster crappie that live in this neighborhood. You need a net? Look at that. Black Mike crappie. over there with the black crappie. Chris over here with the bluegill. My camera's upside down. It's pandemonium. It's pandemonium Chris, up in the here. the fish are biting. Ah! Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Guys, shenanigans. Shenanigans. Mike, you're under. You are under big time. Is that the hook? Got him. Oh, I'm under. And I did not get him. Another nine-inch crappie. Good job, Mike. Black crappie. 
that? Yes, nice. You don't want the net? Look at that, y'all. Beautiful. Black crappie. Oh, look at that. Got, oh, net, please. Net, 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 net. Oh, 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 guys, this might be my big one of the... Whoa. Oh, my God. You got a big old Whoa. bass. You got him a big... Are you kidding me? <laughs> guys, I knew it was a big fish. Good, good gracious. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> wow. And it's got tumors all over it. It's not a tumor. Oh, dying. it's a tumor. It is a tumor. It's Look at the tumors. Tumor. Dying. Don't make me slap you with this fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tumor. That's a big old bass. I'm like, put it right in there, Jim. <sighs> hey, Mike, what do you always say when I catch one of these? You always say, kiss my bass. Kiss my bass. Bass master's freaking elite. Ah, this got a look at his spine. Guys, that's got all kinds of drama happening to it. I'm thinking it got attacked by a I It got attacked by what uh what a crane? Cuz that hole is the same hole on this side and it's just trying to heal itself up. Let's get that back in the water and uh let's catch some crappie. Why are we still spinning? About 11 incher. That's nice. a beauty. We'll take him, guys. <clears throat> and this one is 11, just over 11. Feeling up in there. Mm -hmm. Got one. Yeah, there so you it's go. crappie. He spit that nibble out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're in there, guys. That's what those are. We're looking at crappie. We're combining Chris's technique of the trout magnet with the crappie nibble with the power of live scope. And there's a couple big ones in there. Oh, oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. Uh huh, I'm listening. But uh, I told him I was like, I said, I don't think Check that out, time yeah. for me. Uh, one day at home, I got work, and he's like, corner maybe. Got him. That, oh, that's a crappie. Net, please. I'm going to bring it uh, to your side. Oh, it's not a crappie. It's just a big bluegill. <sighs> Man, he hit it hard. That, if you're a fisheries biologist, it's not a crappie. If you're not, yeah, that's a crappie. That's a weird looking crappie. Got him that time. Here. Oh, you yanked him right out of the water. <laughs> nice. What is that, Mikey? Got another black crappie. Oh, yeah. yeah he's on. That's a decent bluegill. Oh, that's a striper. Oh. Or a yellow bass. Nice. White bass. No, yeah, that's, that's a yellow bass. bass. A Just a little bass. yellow bass. Here we go. Oh, that's cool. Nope. Oh, it's all right nice together as a like, yep you're right there it is that is a better fish and it's a bluegill <laughs> all right there we go y'all nice because that's a pretty decent size uh minnow he might be. <laughs> I need smaller ones because I'm in a whooping. Man, I left that crappie. He said, you got a problem, buddy? You want to take it out? You want, you want to take it offshore? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take it out of the brush pile. Yeah, let's take it out, out of the brush. Y'all going to fight. Y'all need to take that out of the brush pile. <laughs> we only got civilized fish in here. Most interesting fish in the world. Yeah. He wants to put himself inside a pike's mouth just to know what it felt like. Felt dared him to bite him. Like, I dare you. Do it. I dare you. I'll get in there and rip your freaking tongue patch out. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of bass swimming around without a tongue patch because of me. To the highest mountain, I was thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah, better get some crappie. These crappies are looking at my thinking, 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 but they won't bite it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Don't they know they're messing with the Intercontinental Champion prop why why would you alert the media so will all the ain't no one gonna take you out because you thought you have you seen your antics <coughs> you are not what would be considered a credible scientific he's on the news he's like local man shoots what he thinks to be bigfoot but turns out just to be fred from north north dakota yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh <laughs> so i got a little body here hey folks Chris here uh check my channel out pistol creek pan fishing if you get a chance for some more crappie fishing action hey guys mike here rego outdoor adventures Check the channel out. Check next cast. Pistol Creek Panfish. Here we go. Outdoor adventures. Get you some of that. Boom. As always, y'all, get outside. Go fish and have fun. You can always become a better angler. And we'll see you on the next cast.